Hello everyone. Welcome back to Nusat Ma'am ki online classes. In this video lecture, I will proceed to the concept of animation and different type of animation that is our chapter number 3. At the end of this session, we will do the practical section also of creating very simple animation. So, without wasting time, we will start our first topic that is animation. Animation is a visual change over time wherein the digital images are play one after other to create a moving effect. In chapter number 1, we got familiar with 5 elements of multimedia. We came across the term video and animation. At that time, I told you animation is a visual change over time. Animation is a method of placing photograph or any drawing object in a sequence to create a moving effect. In this chapter, we are going to study about different type of animation. First one, frame by frame animation. Second one, E-frame animation or you can say twinning or cell animation. Third one is kinematic and last one is morphing. Let's start with frame by frame animation. The images used in animation can be created and then displayed in a sequence. This type of animation is known as frame by frame animation. Here, all the frames in an animation have to be drawn by hand. And then we will manually place this object or image in each and every frame in a sequence to give an effect of animation. Now what is frame? Frame are defined as the length of time in the document. Each frame consists of some object to be displayed over a period of time. To create even the shortest movie can take a longer time because we need to create each and every image for each and every frame. So, it is very tedious process even. It also requires lot of time and resource. Next, we will see keyframe animation. A keyframe is a frame in which we define a change to an object properties. In other words, we can say that when an object changes size or direction or any other property, a keyframe is a frame that defines changes in animation. Using keyframe, we need to specify the first position and the last position of the object. The series of frames in between are drawn automatically. This effect is known as twinning. Here we will see the definition of twinning. Twinning is an action which calculates the number of frames between keyframe and the path of the action. Here in this figure you can see two positions that is first and the last position that is drawn by the user. And the series of in between frames generated by the computer. Here just providing position and the path of the action like Object will move from left to right or from top to bottom. Then computer will calculate the number of frame needed and thereby automatically generate in between series of frame between these two key points. This type of animation is also known as cell animation and generally all the computer employ this type of animation. Now we will see kinematic. It is a study of movement and motion of object that have joints such as walking man, running leopard or flying bird. This type of animation will record the action of human or animal object. Now we will see morphing. Morphing is a transformation of object shape from one form to another form. Take an example of transform of one person's face into another face. It will create smooth transition between these two images. Now, we will create our first animation of moving circle from left to right. For that, I need to open Synfix Studio. Here, I will double click on this icon. But in Ubuntu, you have to select application menu, graphic and Synfix. Reset the window by going to file menu and then panel. Reset window to original layout. By default, you can see the end time is 5 seconds. And here, I want to change the end time from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. For that, we need to open Canva Setup Property dialog box. So here, I will click on Carrot button, then Edit, 
and then property. Here I will select the time tab and I will change it to 2 seconds here. Now I will draw any object. Here I will draw a circle. Then I will click on animate edit more button. That is on the right side of the time bar. It is green in color. It will be visible if you have non-zero end time. Now click on this button. It will turn into red button and the canvas will display red outline. That indicate animate editing mode is active or it is on and any changes made will have an effect on the animation in the time bar. Here now I will use the transform tool. So I will get the green duck and using this green duck I can change the position. Here I will slightly move the circle to record my first frame and here you can see the waypoint event. This orange diamond is my waypoint and it will record the changes in object property. Now I want to move this circle to the right side. So I have to select the end time here. Now click at the end of the timeline that is 2 seconds or directly type here 2 seconds in the entry field. Now use the shift key to move this circle in a straight line of the canvas. Now turn off the animation editing mode because we have done this thing now and click on play button. So you can see the animation your circle is moving from left to right. This way you need to specify only beginning location at 0f and end location at 2 seconds and if you will select any position in between here like this. You can see the circle is drawn automatically by the computer. You have given only two positions in between series of frame automatically generated. That is twinning. Now we will see the next slide. Here we saw by default the end time is 5 seconds. Orange indicator also visible when we select any time in the time bar. The value is specified on the timeline in terms of second and frame. Like 3 seconds, 9 frame, 1 second, 5 frame, like that. Frame rate, that is the speed of animation, is measured in FPS, frame per second. And by default, a frame rate is 24 frame per second. Now we will move to the next slide. Here, we will save the file and we will render the file. I will show this thing practically. Here, you have to click on file and then save. Here on desktop, I will save as moving circle 1 and I will save this file. After saving this file, we have to render it. Render means the computer use various algorithms to apply the final effect you have specified on the object created. Here, computer will apply various algorithms and will produce the final video output. That effect you can see it in any web browser or image viewer. How to do this thing practically? Here, you have to click on carrot button and then file menu and then render. Remember this thing carrot button, file and render. Here, I have to specify as a GIF file instead of PNG. And here select target format as GIF instead of auto and click on render button. It will take some time. Finally, you will see this file render successfully on window status bar that is located on the bottom of the window. Now right click it, open with Internet Explorer or in any browser you can open it. Now you can see your output. The circle is moving from left to right. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned in for the next video.